lay back, relax and enjoy, kiddies. Uncle James is here to read your bedtime story with apologies for being so late. And we're going back to the Railway series by the Reverend Wilbert Audrey for this next story from the Free Railway Engines, The Sad Story of Henry. Here we go. We're there. The sad story of Henry. Here we go. Once, an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. It went into a tunnel and squeaked through its funnel and never came out again. The engine's name was Henry. His driver, his driver and fireman ar- ar- argued with him, but he would not move. The rain will spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes, he said. The guard blew his whistle till he had no more breath, and he waved his flags till his arms ached. But Henry still stayed in the tunnel and blew steam at him. I am not going to spoil my lovely green paint and red stripes for you, he said rudely. The passengers came and argued too, but Henry would not move. A fat director who was on the train told the guard to get a rope. We will pull you out, he said. But Henry only blew steam at him and made him wet. They hooked the rope on and pulled. Except the fat director. My my doctor has forbidden me to pull, he said. They pulled and pulled and pulled. But still Henry stayed in the tunnel. They tried pushing from the other end. The fat director said, One, two, three, push! But did not help. My doctor has forbidden me to push, he said. They pushed and pushed and pushed. But still Henry stayed in the tunnel. At last another train came. The guard waved his red flag and stopped it. The two engine drivers, the two firemen and the two guards went and argued with Henry. Look, it has stopped raining, they said. Yes, but it will begin again soon, said Henry. And what will become of my green paint with red stripes then? So they thought, so, so, so they brought the other engine up, and it pushed and puffed and puffed and pushed, as hard as ever it could. But still, Henry stayed in the tunnel. So they gave it up. They told Henry, we shall leave you here for always and always and always. They took up the old rails, built a wall in front of him, and cut a new tunnel. Now Henry can't get out, and he watches the trains rushing through the new tunnel. He is very sad because no one will ever see his lovely green paint with red stripes again. But I think he deserved it, don't you?
and that was the sad story of Henry and this episode. of bedtime with uncle james now if you enjoy the video for all intensive viewing purposes for, for all viewing purposes then you know what to do and please show it to your kids <laughs> if you have any Parents, that is. <laughs> Parents, if you do. And there will be another episode soon. Well, until then, good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite.